When you launch a startup, one of the most difficult things to do is to find the right name. It must be different, but not too outlandish, and ideally it should capture the essence of the business. When sisters Zainab and Fatima Farid got their catering and confectionery venture off the ground, they decided to call it Chili Chocolate Chefs. And with spring on its way, they invited Michelle to enjoy an alfresco lunch with them. Chili and chocolates may seem an unconventional combination, but the name does give a hint of the delicious variety of dishes that the sisters have on offer. Known for their distinctively glamorous, playful and always tasty cuisine, Zainab and Fatima Parak are a duo that is catering to Durban's finest. With a name that pays tribute to their Indian heritage, they are also bringing their personality into it. Now I'm curious to find out which one's sweet and which sister is spicy. Each sister has her own personality, but they're united in their mission, which is to inspire moments of happiness through exquisite food. Hello, ladies. Hi, how are you? I am so happy to be here. I've been salivating over your social media pics. So we're so happy to have you here. Yeah, welcome. Thanks for coming. This was not always part of the career plan. No, you would be surprised. We were actually teachers before this. We studied and we taught the junior kids. And then we went to chef school. Food has always been our passion. Worked at different restaurants, and then we were inspired to start our own, which is when Chili Chocolate Chefs was born. Sweet and spicy. Which sister's which? I think I'm the sweet one, but no. she did. <laughs> Zainab's cheeky and feisty in the kitchen, so she's definitely the chili. And I'm the chocolate. Ladies, what is on the menu today? So we have a Middle Eastern spread that's really interesting. We've got a lovely canapé uh, with lots of labne. We're using a lot of uh, figs, pomegranate. Very interesting flavours. You're going to love the feast. It all sounds great. You know the saying, too many cooks are in the broth. I'm going to excuse myself. Have a seat and watch us prepare everything. You can take notes. I'm going to begin with our starter. And we're doing a fig and labne canapé, which is really, really interesting. I have some French bread slices that we've sliced already. We have some nice fresh fig. These have been pre-sliced, homemade labne. That looks interesting. How is it made? Labne is generally made with just yogurt. You strain the yogurt, the longer you strain it, the more thicker the labneh becomes, which is really, really nice. Some mini apples just for garnish, berries for garnish, and this is actually really interesting. This is a tahini and sesame seed mix, which the little canopies get toast with. Literally just going to pop these French breads onto a pan and just let it toast through quite nicely. You just want to actually lightly toast the bread. Just a tiny bit of golden on the outside is perfect. You don't want to make it too dark because then all the colour gets ruined for your canopy. I just need to season the labneh. Bit of salt and pepper. Just lightly give it a toss. Now I'll just lightly smear these little French breads with the labneh. It's just perfect texture, nice and thick. So now I'm just going to gently place the figs on top of the labneh. The flavour of fresh figs is just amazing, on with the chives. These have been finely chopped, so we're just going to place the chives just lightly over. And we're going to put a light drizzle of honey on each of the little toasts. The honey goes really well with the labneh. We're off to the main garnish for this fig and labneh. We're just going to lightly just sprinkle it over each of the little toasts, so you get a bit of a crunchy texture to the dish. You eat with your eyes first, so I'm just going to beautifully plate this for our guests to enjoy. These little baby apples look really, really cool. And that's the dish ready. So today we're making a labneh and pistachio cheesecake. For the base, we have ground pistachio and butter. So I'm going to mix the butter with the nuts. And you're going to give that a nice mix. Ideally, you should use your hands for this. That's a lot easier. Almost like when you're making breadcrumbs with the dough. If you put it in your hand and hold it, it should make a small ball, which is what you want. Okay, so now we're going to start with our pistachio crust. I'm going to tip the butter and pistachio mix into the pan. And you're going to flatten it. So use the back of a spoon and press it down gently. This part is done, we're going to leave this aside and let's get started with our cheesecake mix. I'm going to start with the labne. The next item is the cream. The last item is our condensed milk, which is the sweetener. 
So the way you mix this is you fold it lightly. You want to keep the cheesecake mix quite light and if you beat it, then it becomes too thick. Our cheesecake mix is done. It's nice and well combined. I'm going to add this into my cheesecake base. I put the last of the mix into the cheesecake pan and we're going to put this in the oven on 180 for 15 minutes. Remove from the oven and cool in the fridge. Luckily, I have one ready for you. Now's the fun part. We get to decorate. I'm going to start with the strawberries. Halve them and quarter it. And you're just going to place these over. I'm going to use two because I've got lots of other goodies to add to it. Next is the blueberries. Next is coconut. We've pre-sliced it. You've got to be nice and generous with this. And then the best part is the figs. Okay, so this looks fantastic. Let's plate. So I'm going to drizzle it with honey. I'm going to sprinkle some gold pearls. Wow, that is truly a work of edible art. Cannot wait. So now let's get on with mains. Today we're doing a Zatar chicken salad. This is a really, really nice alfresco salad with all the different fresh herbs that we're putting into it. I've been cooking the carrots. We're using baby carrots. I've sauteed it with spring onion, cumin, salt, pepper, and a bit of garlic. Together with that, we have our chicken fillet. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of zaatar spice over the chicken fillets and let that sizzle. So the chicken is nicely seasoned and cooked well. I'm going to take this and place it onto my chopping board and start cutting it while Fatima assembles our salad. It's so convenient to mix salads together when all your prep is perfectly ready. So I'm excited to just put this together for you. First I'll pop in the cucumber. I love using mini cucumbers. It just looks so much nicer in the salad red onion as well. The flavor from red onion is just amazing. It's so much more powerful than just your normal onion. So whenever you're doing salads, I definitely suggest using red onion. So that's in. Let's put in our chickpeas. These have already been cooked, so they're all cooked through. Tomatoes. We've just halved the baby tomatoes and we're popping these in as well. And I'm just gonna lightly toss through the little baby carrots that Zainab has so nicely prepared for us. The nice thing is about this is all the flavor from the carrot is actually gonna get tossed through your entire salad. So you're getting all those nice cumin and paprika, but if your garlic, salt and pepper. So you wanna make sure that you put in all that goodness into the salad. Cause that is what actually makes the whole salad. Just popping in my mint that has been finely chopped. Next is coriander. And lastly, I'm gonna put in some parsley. We're using just curly parsley today, but if you have Italian parsley, that works just as well as well. And now you see all this fresh herb that has been tossed into this gorgeous salad. And it just makes such a difference. Using fresh herbs make a huge difference than just your dried ones. I'm gonna dress it now with a bit of olive oil. A light drizzle. All you need to do is just lightly place all the salad ingredients gently over the lettuce. I like to normally make the salad like a mound in the middle because it just looks so much nicer visually. Oh wow, that looks so beautiful. Okay, let's get topping. We're going to start with the croutons. I'm going to just place them everywhere. Let's put our zaatar chicken on next. The last thing is our feta, olive, pepper dew mix. This has been seasoned already. So it's olive oil, salt and pepper. Voila, lunch is ready. And just in time for our guests. Yes. The arrival of the three appetizing courses brought a glow of anticipation to the eyes of the guests. I hope you ladies are hungry. Starving. The meal was accompanied by fresh fruit juice to clear the palates and bring out the flavours. Aretha Franklin and Annie Lennox sang it best with their 80s hit, Sisters Are Doing It For Themselves. By creating the most spectacular dishes, these two sisters are standing on their own two feet and ringing their own bell.